video okay hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your terrible and if you don't know now you know thank you so much for watching and joining me in today's video so as you can see by the title we got story time okay okay it's 2019 i gotta come to y'all with some better content you feel me today's video is gonna be a little spicy a little juicy sip tea you know you feel me and it is on the time where i cheated on my significant other right now i'm gonna tell y'all this is a no judgment zone okay don't sit there and judge me it was a really long time ago it was like four years ago but yeah if you want to see the mess girl you want to see what happened then get you a snack did you feel me pop a squat and let's get into the tea okay let's, let's just hop into it i was in my oh my gosh i shouldn't have ate that I shouldn't have ate that. As I was saying, it was like four years ago. I was in my senior year of high school. Me and my significant other went to the school together and whatnot. But we were a year apart. So let me give him a name and stuff. I'm going to give all the characters in my story fake names because I will slip up and say their real name. We're going to call my ex Malcolm, okay? I was with Malcolm in the 11th. And like the beginning of my 12th grade year, I think. But let me give y'all some info on how we got together. So we was in the same class and we was in leadership together. I was in there with Malcolm and my best friend to this day. To this day! Her name is Leah. Y'all already know who my best friends are. So me and Leah and Malcolm were in a class together. And Leah peeped. She was like, Tur, Malcolm be staring at you 24-7. Like, what's good with him? Like, you know him or something? And I was like, who? And she was like, I don't know his name, but he sits across from you and he just be staring at you all class, like all day in class. And I'm just like, I don't know who this is. So crazy thing, y'all. My cousins, I used to go to school with like my cousins and whatnot. So the boy Malcolm was like going around asking people if they knew me. But the first person he asked so happened to be my cousin, even though he didn't know it was my cousin, right? Let's call my cousin Bree. So he DM'd. He didn't even DM her. He commented on one of her pictures or something on Instagram, I think, and was like, hey, Bree, do you know this girl named Jatera? So she was like, yeah, I do. That's my cousin. What's up? And he was like, nothing like that. Just drop her at name. So she was like, at life of underscore Jatera. So I'm seeing all the comments and whatnot, their whole conversation. I'm just like, what do he want? So later on, he done get my number. Bada bing, bada boom. He shoot his shot. <laughs> Um, I wanted him to be my best friend, but that ain't work, and we ended up being together, so <laughs> there goes that. I don't remember what month we started going together, but I knew that prior to that, I was single for a really long time because my other ex, before Malcolm, we're going to give him a name, too. We're going to call him Brandon. I don't know. Brandon. Broke my heart. And it was like a sudden end of the relationship. I really didn't understand why. We just didn't talk about it. I stopped talking to him. He got with somebody else. I got with Malcolm. So, bing, bada bing, bada boom. That's what happened, right? Okay, so boom. Here's where it gets juicy at, okay? Me and Malcolm was together for a really long time. All the way into my 12th grade year. And I'm noticing, like, hmm, I'm about to go to college. He about to be still in high school. That's not going to work. That's 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 going to be real messy because the school I went to, they was messy from jump. So, females probably was going to try their hand and stuff once I left for school. And, like, I was low-key scared of, like, keeping a relationship while I was in college because I'm just like, he going to cheat. Like, I just know he going to cheat. So, I was already, like, mentally detaching myself from him. And he didn't even know it. So... I told y'all, remember I told y'all we was a year apart, right? Okay, so boom, here goes the juice. So, he went on a college tour with his class. He was in 11th grade. I'm a singer. I'm already applying and being accepted into colleges, so I don't have to go on this college tour. So, I stayed my ass home. So, he's on a tour. You know, they they slept over at a hotel when I doing the tour. And I'm getting, like, texts and DMs sent to my phone from, like, random numbers and stuff and random people and that. And people was like, get your boyfriend. Your boyfriend is in so-and-so room. Your boyfriend messing around is in the third. And I'm just like, okay. Malcolm wants problems. Okay, bet. Then one day, I think it was a Friday, and one day after school, Malcolm and this girl named, 
Chantel. I don't know. I'm just thinking of some names, right? So one day after school, decides to go on a shopping date with this girl named Chantel. And I'm just like, wow. In our relationship, we didn't play that, okay? If you going somewhere with someone, especially a female, you let me know. First of all, I'm going to be worried about your safety. And second of all, how you going to go with a, fe a random female and not even let me know? Like, that's just real petty. And you obviously having something because if it was innocent, why didn't you tell me? You feel me? So he was being sneaky. He thought I was boo-boo the fuck a fool. So I was like, okay, bet. It's time for some payback. Okay, I already didn't attach myself mentally. So what's up was good. Now my emotions not attached either because you try to play me. You try to play me like I'm some PlayStation. Like, no, like, no. Like, you got the game messed up. You got the game messed up. So I was like, huh, what should I do next? So I didn't even talk to him about it, which is where I went wrong. I should have talked to him. I should have been like, you wild what's going on why are you doing stuff behind my back and then you're not even doing it discreetly because other people know about us sending stuff to my phone like you must want these hands i should have said that to him and then like broke up with him if that's what i wanted to do but i didn't i decided to get payback and be a childish little individual so i was like hmm i'm gonna get back at him by messing with my ex and we're gonna see how it feels okay we're gonna see how you like it we're gonna see how you deal with it when someone's doing you dirty behind your back okay so cool i was in this scholarship program and we used to go on trips and college tours when not when i was in school brandon was in it as well and so were all my best friends and stuff around the same time me and malcolm were having problems my scholarship program took us to mess and that in right so we're on this trip and we get there and we're supposed to be doing like leadership exercises and group activities and stuff. And it's supposed to be a cool lit experience. So we go and I see Brandon. And I'm like, huh, me and Brandon haven't talked in forever. I don't even know if he's the same person, but I'm going to try my hand. But I really don't know what to do or what to say. So y'all, I didn't really do or say anything to get his attention, but look at him. Okay, and I, I swear to God, all I did to get his attention and to make him want to talk to me again, because I made him pull the first move, all I did was look at him. And I'm going to see if he catches, you know, he catch, catch the vibe. Y'all, I kid you not, that same day, asked my best friend, we went to our hotel when I, I was rumming with my other best friend at the moment, and Leah was rumming with this girl. And I guess they were in the hallway or some way, somehow, Leah and Brandon got around each other. And Brandon was like, hey, do you know if, like, Tara will be willing to, like, give me her number or what? Like, I'm not sure if she got the same number, but I want to talk to her. I want to say something to her. I'm trying to get her number. Do you think she'll be willing to do that for me? Or, like, would you give me her number? She was like, um... What you gotta say to her? Cause you know, like if her, if anyone knows Leah, she's the detective. She's gonna try to get the tea. You know, she's she's just a mess. So she was trying to figure out like what you what you gotta say to her. You feel me? Like y'all been broken up a real long time. Y'all both in relationship. Like what you gotta say to her? He was not. He was like nothing. All nah. like I just it's just something that I want to say that wrote me to her. So do you mind giving me her number? She was like, well, her don't do that whole pass out my number thing, and you know that. So. I can go ask her if you want me to. He was like, okay, cool, let's do that. So Leah runs to my room, whatever. And I'm like, who want my number? I'm acting all surprised and stuff because I ain't tell nobody what I was about to do. Because Shorty was in a relationship too. So I'm like, do his girl know about this? Leah was like, bruh, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going to allow him to get my number. Let's see what he has to say because I'm just intrigued. I'm interested. She was like, me too. I wind up like, what if he want to get back with you? I'm like, girl, shut up. Just go give him my number. We're going to see what happens. So from that day, that night, we was talking. We was texting. We was flirting. All that. I was dead wrong. Okay, y'all, don't do this if you're in a relationship. Don't be talking to your ex, especially when your, your man or your woman don't know about it. Don't be doing stuff behind their back. I was wrong. Like I said, I was cheating. Hello, this is what this story time is about. Y'all, when we came back from Mass Nightin', 
we literally stayed on the phone from like 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., which is the time that like we both woke up for school. Just catching up, just like really getting back close. And at first, y'all, it was just supposed to be to get back at Malcolm. But then I was like, dang, I actually miss Brandon. Like, shit. I was like, this is going further than expected. I just allowed it to continue. Days, weeks, probably like a month has gone by. Me and him have been talking nonstop. And I just like stopped talking to Malcolm. Like, I will still show him attention here and there. But we wouldn't talk about anything. You know, like we were still together. But I just wasn't into him no more. One day, y'all back to the scholarship program we had to go to school on saturdays and then malcolm was up my school because he had either basketball or football practice on saturdays because he played both sports malcolm was still geeked over me even though he was trying to do me dirty he was trying to come around me while i was with my scholarship program so we was upstairs in the library he came up in there and at the time Aaliyah had my phone I don't know what she was doing but she had my phone it was unlocked and then Leah set my phone down unattended y'all it's all her fault. It's all her fault. I blame. I blame Leah. Okay, so boom. This is what happened. I don't know why, but Malcolm started going through my phone. And he noticed that Brandon was blocked. So this is how I would be sneaky, y'all. Anytime I was at school or I was around Malcolm, I would put Brandon on block. So just in case he would text me or call me, it wouldn't come through. And I wouldn't get caught right-handed. Also, let me throw this information out there. Brandon had an Android. I had an iPhone, okay? Remember that. So, I was talking to somebody, and then I saw my uncle with my phone. And, girl, when I tell you my heart dropped to my booty, I was like, what he doing with my phone? I looked at Lee, and I was like, how he get my fucking phone? She was like, I don't know. I'm so sorry. When I tell y'all, I was so mad at her. But anyway, so, Malcolm was like, hey, come here. He pulled me to him, and I'm like, What's up? You got my phone? Let me see. I gotta call my mother. I started lying. I was like, I gotta call my mom. He was like, nah, I got a question before you do that. Why is Brandon blocked? I was like, oh, well, um, well, um, he is my ex. Like, you want him to be talking to me? He was like, how do he even got your number? I was like, we in the same scholarship program and we was all in a group chat so you notice how he got my number and i didn't want him thinking that he can talk to me privately outside of the group chat just because he had my number so i blocked him ah! y'all that was a good lie because it was actually the truth but i blocked him for another reason now this is where this is where it went left so he was like uh-huh okay okay so he scrolling through my apps and stuff he's like so why you been calling him on Uvu? It say you been calling him on Uvu. Cause I told y'all he had an Android. So I couldn't FaceTime him. I had to Uvu. So I was like, huh? Huh? What? 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 <laughs> like, y'all, the cat had my tongue, okay? What was I supposed to say in response to that? So I tried to like turn it on him. I'm like, why are you going through my phone anyway? Are you insecure? I was scared, y'all. My heart was racing and he looked all sad and mad at me. And I was just like, oh, I'm wild. But like, that's not it, y'all. There's more tea, okay? There's more. So we had shared a locker at that moment. So he like went downstairs to our locker, took his stuff out of my locker, put it in his locker. For the next like couple of days, stuff was real dry with us and whatnot. But that didn't really help the situation. All that did was allow me to have more freedom to talk to Brandon and whatnot. I don't know what month it was, but now we're going into October. And my old best friend, let's give her the name... Ariel, I don't know. That's a daggone princess. So Ariel's birthday was coming up and Ariel's birthday is in October. And Ariel wanted everyone to get together and go out to dinner into the movies. All my friends were supposed to go over Ariel's house, spend a night, you know, have a little girls night. And then everybody was going to link up out like Silver Spring and go to the movies out there. Turns out we couldn't go out there because... Ariel's girlfriend at the time had just got robbed and 
like she got jumped and robbed or something like that but she got robbed at the train station so ariel's girlfriend's mother didn't want her going far on the train station because it would take her a long time to get back it would be dark and she didn't want her to get robbed again or get hurt which is understandable so instead of going out silver spring y'all we gotta go to the boulevard and if you from the dm you know the boulevard is irritating, it's ghetto, it's whack, it's childish, it's annoying, like it's dirty. Don't nobody want to go to the boulevard, especially for a birthday event. Like that's, ugh. Before the event happened, those were the plans. So let's rewind back to the morning of that night, okay? I had to take the SAT, I think, and so did Brandon. I remember it was at Anacostia High School. So we was at the station, we was at Anacostia Station, and here I am being wild. Brandon's stepfather ended up coming to pick us up and took us to go take our SAT from the station. So we took the test, we all flirting on the way there, we was flirting on the way back, like, just real messy. And I ended up telling him about Ariel's birthday plans. I was like, look, this is what's happening. You want to come? I'm inviting you. There's going to be a whole lot of other people there. Um, Aaliyah's boyfriend was, at the time, best friends with Brandon. He was like, I'm going to be with you and I'm going to be with my mans, you know. So, of course, I'll come. Just let me know what time, when and where. And I'll be there. I'm like, <laughs> are you back? So, Malcolm also knew about these plans because Earl, you had been made the plans for her birthday. So, I was like, crap. I can't have both of them come. So, I got to tell one of them that we're not going no more. And, of course, I told Malcolm. I was like, so, boom. <laughs> it's really funny now, but this is not funny. Like, this is not okay. So, I told Malcolm. I was like, look, plans got canceled because Ariel and her mother had a big argument. So, we're not even going out nowhere no more. She, like, canceled her birthday stuff. So, you know, don't worry about coming. Just stay in the house. And I'll just call you later or something. Because we just going to stay in Ariel's house. He was like, oh, that's wild. Tell Ariel happy birthday, you know. And I'm just sitting on the phone like. If you hear my family, sorry. They loud. But I got to get these videos out, okay? So, y'all, I was really mad that we couldn't go out Silver Spring. Because, you know, Silver Spring is all quiet. And it's a little bit further out. We all will be out there with the white people. White people! Where it's clean and quiet. And I won't see a lot of people out there. Because everyone used to go to the boulevard and it would be hot you know like i'm lying to my boyfriend and stuff i'm about to be out with my ex i don't need nobody seeing me so y'all we on a train getting there right i'm ducking and diving behind area you i'm like hiding kind of more paranoid girl i get the sweating so i'm like look i can't do this like this is this is too this is too much for my mental like oh my god so we get there without nobody seeing me i'm like Okay, so now we in the movies. Ain't nobody gonna see me in the doctor gator, you know? I got all cute for Brandon and stuff, and I saw him, and, like, we was, like, holding hands, and we was, we sat by each other in the movies. And then afterwards, we had walked, like, some of our friends back to the train station. So we was walking that long distance or whatever, and we was holding hands, and, like, that must have been when someone saw me and Brandon. That person also knew Malcolm. When we was walking, Brandon ended up kissing me, okay? This is where the cheating comes into play. Because, like, we ain't, we ain't do nothing to that or nothing. But I don't know when, but we're back at school now. And I just noticed that, like, Malcolm is not really talking to me. Like, he acting like he got attitude and stuff. So I'm like, okay. Like, I really don't care. So then he was like, can I talk to you? And he pulled me to, like, the stairwell. And he was like, I'm going to ask you a question. I was like, okay. Well, y'all, I think this is what happened, but my memory is terrible. But he was like, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm like, okay. He was like, have you been lying to me? <gasps> y'all, I was like, lying to you? Huh? Why you say that? No. He was like, all right. Um, didn't you tell me that Ariel couldn't go out for her birthday? I was like, yeah. He was like, so, why did so-and-so, I don't know the boy's name. I didn't know then. I still don't know now. But he was like, so, why did so-and-so tell me that he saw you and Brandon holding hands at the boulevard that same night? 
I'm not fucking done. She fucking dead. I'm caught. I'm caught red-handed. At this, at this point, there's nothing I can't say to get out of the situation. I was tongue-tied for a second, but I'm like, look. I got some explaining and still gotta tell you some things. I don't think me and you are gonna work. And I'm sorry it shouldn't have happened, but yeah, I just think like me and you shouldn't be together. Y'all, he was so mad. It's but anyways, that is the story time on the time I cheated. Me and Malcolm had broke up, but he still wanted me, y'all. Like he's, mm, I ain't, uh, he still be calling me to this day. To this day. So that shows that like, yeah, I was wild during that moment but i was a really good girlfriend and cheaters are not always cheaters let me put that out there it's one kind of cheater that likes hurting people they inflict pain on others because something is messed up with them and then there's other cheaters who be caught up in a moment or just don't handle a situation properly and they notice the damage that they do to others and they don't want to do it again and that's what happened to me and karma is real because I've been cheated on like two or three times by the same person. So if you want to see the part two to this story time series of cheating, I guess, um, make sure you like this video and comment down below if you want to hear about the times where I have been cheated on. So yeah, without further ado, that wraps up this video and this story time. Thank you for those who stuck around for the entire story. Please be sure to give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, 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 now.